This is Mrs. Magdal. I will be reading Chapter 13 of The Wish Tree. Bongo was the first to see what had happened to me. She landed at the base of my trunk, head cocked. Dropping the potato chip in her beak, she cried, I leave you alone for a few minutes, and look what happens. What on earth? It seems someone mistook me for a pumpkin, I said. When she didn't smile, I added, because, you know, I was carved. For the millionth time, Red, explaining doesn't make things any funnier. Bongo flew to my lowest scaffold branch, one of my big primary limbs. She examined my injury. Does it hurt? Not the way an injury might hurt you. Trees are different that way. I gotta do something, Bongo said. There's nothing to be done. You've got a major boo-boo. I want to help. You're the wise old tree. Tell me what to do. Really, Bongo, time heals all wounds. Bongo hates it when I philosophize. She rolled her eyes. At least, I think she did. It's hard to tell with crows. Their eyes are like morning blackberries, dark and dewy. I just hope my bark isn't ruined, I said. That's my favorite side. It's not ruined, just decorated, like those tattoos people get. Bongo nudged me with her beak. Show me who did this. I'll get him. I'll squawk at his window in the middle of the night. I'll dive bomb him and yank out some hair. She flapped her wings. No, better yet, I'll make a deposit on his head. I'll make a deposit on his head every day for a year. I didn't ask what kind of deposit. I was quite sure I knew. Bongo, dear, I said. That won't be necessary. Bongo shifted from foot to foot, something she did when she was working at a problem. You know, she said, it's almost time for wishing day. Maybe this is some kind of wish, just a poorly delivered one. Another wishing day, I repeated. It seemed like we'd just had one. Had a whole year already come and gone? Days have a way of slipping past like raindrops in a river. One more round, Bongo said, of greedy people bugging you with their needs. One more round of hopeful people wishing for better things, I corrected. Wishing day was always a bit hard on me and on my residents. Usually the animals and birds stayed away that day to avoid curious hands and endless ph photographs. But it was just one day. I understood its history and my role in it. I knew people were full of longings. A mother tugging a toddler along the sidewalk froze in place when she saw my trunk. Mommy, what does that say? asked her little girl, who was clutching a small stuffed toy dog by its bedraggled tail. The mommy didn't answer. Mommy? They crossed the lawn. The mother stepped close to me. It says, leave, she finally said. Like trees have leaves? Gently, the mother traced my cuts with her index finger. Maybe, she answered. Maybe like that. She looked over at the two houses near me. Shaking her head, she tightened her grip on the little girl's hand. Let's hope that's all it means.